Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Timo Parker. I'm a vocal coach and I'm here to help you to improve your singing voice. I've done a lot of videos on this channel about how to sing in a relaxed way and how to open up your instrument basically by strengthening the yawning muscles, so lowering your thyroid cartilage aka larynx and also to open it up. If you haven't seen any previous videos on this channel, if you're new here, welcome. I will link the videos that are relevant for this video in order to understand it in the description box below or you can also click on the playlist here. So today I want to present some different sounds that you can create in head voice and by doing that I think it will also become clearer why it is so important to stay relaxed and to open up your instrument first. So just as a very quick recap when I talk about head voice what I'm talking about is a sound where the vocal cords are not contracted and in chest voice they are contracted for me so today we're just gonna look at different ways how we can create different head voice sounds but the vocal cords still stay passive and they're not contracted. So if you have watched the first video that I've published on this channel, you're probably familiar with the following exercise. This is the whole tone exercise that I show in the first video that I published on this channel and basically what we are focusing on when we are singing is that we are lowering our thyroid cartilage aka larynx and that we stay relaxed. So this way we are opening up our room in our throat and we have a very yawny open and dark sound. A way to intensify this even further is by opening up your thyroid cartilage and I've also made a separate video about it. I will link it here. So what we are doing here is basically not only lowering our thyroid cartilage but also opening it up. And this way the sound becomes even more darker and more airy. So for example. Very open. Second time I just lowered the thyroid cartilage, I realized it's not that easy for me to isolate these two movements because they want to almost happen automatically together. Anyway, moving on. So when you are able to do that and it becomes more natural and you can stay relaxed even in a higher register, there's a good chance that you have established good habits in order to sing in head voice. The thing is though that we also want to get away from this very open and airy sound it can be a nice color here and there, but it's probably not a sound that you want to sing an entire song with, unless it is for training purposes. So it would be very interesting to be able to get away from the sound and also use other sounds. So when we are lowering our thyroid cartilage and we are opening it up, we are basically, and this is what I'm explaining in the thyroid cartilage video, is that we have a three dimension stretch. We open the vocal cords towards the side away from each other because we are opening up the thyroid cartilage and we also stretching them with the CT muscle. So these two things together result in a very airy and in a very dark sound and that's maybe not something that you want to go for. It's a great training sound but maybe you don't want to sing a song like that. So what I want to introduce you to in this video is that we are starting to close the vocal cords again. So we're going from this airy inspired sound and head voice and we're starting to close the vocal cords and it gets a bit more um, substance to the sound. So let me show you how it sounds when you switch between what I call aspired head voice where the head voice is very airy to connected head voice where we bring the vocal cords together again and we have a good vocal cord closure. Mm. So what I was doing was basically going from aspired head voice to connected head voice and the only thing that changed is the degree of closure of my vocal cords. So 
when I sing in a spired head voice the arytenoid cartilages which are in the back of your thyroid cartilage. This is the front of the thyroid cartilage. The vocal cords are connected in the front to the thyroid cartilage and in the back to the arytenoid cartilages. And the only thing that happens in order to pull the vocal cords apart is that the arytenoid cartilages uh, go away from each other and we have a big space in between the vocal cords, also called the rima glottidis, and air can come through. When I contract the arytenoid muscles in the back, and the arytenoid cartilages come together in the back, also the vocal cords close again, and then we have a more brilliant sound. And what I was just doing is that I'm going from aspired head voice to connected head voice. The great thing is that not only this opens up a whole new world because you gain or regain flexibility in your voice, because now all of a sudden you're not stuck with this one head voice sound and you can start create different colors, which is important for singers. And I think this exercise can show you why it is so important to stay relaxed. Because, for example, if I am starting to sing the first note and I'm tensed, my thyroid cartilage is in a very high and very narrow position, I'm pretty much stuck with this sound. So let me show you what I mean and I try my very best to go against everything that I normally do, which is not so easy. Okay, so let's assume my thyroid cartilage comes all the way up. I keep it very narrow. That's not chest voice, that's just head voice with a very high, almost compressed thyroid cartilage here, aka larynx. I have absolutely no space to alter the sound because everything is so tight together. And this is basically what happens when your thyroid cartilage raises um, towards higher notes, that you lose the flexibility and that's why you feel like you're walking on a tightrope and you can't really do anything because you're stuck with this sound. So a great analogy would be, for example, if you are in a very small room and you're not able to move freely, then you will be very limited in your movement and you maybe have to walk around like this and you can't really move and be free. And the same thing happens within here. When you don't give your vocal cords the space they need and you don't open up your rooms, you are pretty much stuck with this sound and you can't change it. And we want to regain the freedom and the flexibility. And that's why it is so important to do first the um, training of the yawning muscles so you can lower your thyroid cartilage and also to be able to open it up. So let's take this note one more time and let's do the same thing again, but this time I'm going to lower my thyroid cartilage, I'm opening it up, and then you will see that I have much more flexibility to do things with it. Okay. All of a sudden I have this room to alter the sound. Let's compare it one more time to the one where the thyroid cartilage is very high and narrow, almost compressed. And there's just not so much room, not so much potential to create a bigger uh, sound. So the thing is, if you train these open sounds and then you start to use connected head voice where you close the vocal cords again, this is actually a sound that can come very, very close to chest voice and you can trick people into believing that you're using chest voice even though you're still just using your head voice because you have a great vocal cord closure and you are stretching the vocal cords just with the CT muscle, but they are passive, they are not contracted. And that's the great thing about connected head voice. It has so much um, to offer. And that's just something I wanted to talk about today because I think it is very important to understand that this is still head voice. It is just important to first open up the rooms. And I think maybe this also helps you to understand why I have such a big focus on relaxation and this low and dark sounds because that's just the base for everything else that will come because there are a lot of other topics that I'm planning to talk about on this channel. That being said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to like it. Also subscribe to my channel because as I said, more content is on the way. And also if you're interested in working with me, make sure to check out the link below, which brings you to my website where you are able to book one-on-one -on -one classes with me. In the classes, we can focus on your individual goals. Together, we can focus on building the singing voice that you desire and make sure that we get rid of all the limitations. So thank you so much for watching, guys, and I see you in the next video. Bye-bye.